What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing a Manchester City transfer update. We are running daily Manchester City transfer updates. So don't forget, like always, if you are enjoying the content, then make sure you help support my channel by pressing that red button, pressing the bell button, you'll push notifications on. We smashed past 5,300 subscribers. We're actually well on our way to 5,400 subscribers. My aim though, 5,500 subscribers by the end of the month. Let's see if we can get there. Any help towards that will be much appreciated. You can find my social media links in the description below and popping up on screen for my Twitter and Instagram if you want to go and follow me on there because I'll retweet sources and things happening with City News so it is worthwhile following me on there and you can also find my email in the description below if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So we're going to crack on with this video and we're first up going to be speaking about one of the stories that has come out today which is with regards to Manchester City signing a centre-back. Now, two sources, one coming from Bleacher Re Report, I do believe, I'm not too sure if it's reliable or not, but they're saying that they do believe Man City won't be looking at signing a centre-back this month, and in fact, City are going to be in for a quiet January. Whether you agree with that or not, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, this is down to Manchester City needing to sell a player for them to make room for a non-homegrown player Manchester City will not be selling in January, so we won't be signing any non-homegrown players. We could be signing academy players, players that have got good prospects and come into Manchester City. We've got one that's signed in this video. I'll mention him in just a moment. But Manchester City can sign homegrown players. And so if City want to dip into the homegrown market, they can do. Whether the Man City do or not, it doesn't look like they're going to. But January is a long month. Things happen. We've got Laporte and Lira Sané looking like they are on course to turn, uh, well, to be back very soon within the next few weeks or so. So that's really good news for us. They're like new signings. Should anything happen to the squad, though, City could well still dip into the transfer market. So I'm going to keep my eye on this all throughout January. One thing I've learned from covering lots and lots of transfer stories is to never rule out anything. And so we'll go from there. So we're going to start off with our first news story, which comes in the form of Liam Smith, the young Kilmarnock youngster, or was, which is good news. We've mentioned him a couple of times in the last couple of videos. He was on the verge of signing for Manchester City. It was reported that Liam Smith had signed for Manchester City. And now it is official. Manchester City have signed Kilmarnock young winger Liam Smith on a four-year deal. He's been compared to a similar style to how Bernardo Silva plays. It will be on a one-year scholarship deal and then will sign a three-year professional contract with Manchester City. It is believed he'll be with the under-18s until he is of age. So in next six months to one year. And then... Um, he'll be in the um, 80, uh, the squad for the under-18s from there, and then obviously he'll develop, go into the uh, under-23s, and then start training with the first-team squad should he uh, be up to that standard. And so that's where we are with this transfer. Um, he will be turning into a, a professional, so he'll be a professional football player with Manchester City. We have signed him for a fee, £200,000, which is a lot for a 16-year-old player, I will add. So there is obviously some potential there for young Liam Smith, so I'm looking forward to keeping an eye on all of his progress and how he developed with Manchester City and so I'm going to wish Liam all the best at Manchester City on hopefully a long and very successful career here at the Etihad Stadium. Leave your welcomes in the comments below for the young 16 year old. Now a rumour has been growing this is for the summer I'll be covering stories like we're, we're expecting Manchester City to be bringing in or be very busy at least in the summer window and expecting to bring in at least three or four new players like I thought we might dip in and try and get one of them done in January so we're not as busy in the summer obviously with the European Championships happening and players going away from here there and everywhere around the world it's obviously good to try and get ahead it doesn't look like that's going to happen at this moment in time like I said things change but one rumor that's uh, refusing to go away is that uh, De Merrill are growing stronger sports witness via sources from Turkey I will add uh, are saying that Pep is growing more and more keen on the Juventus and Turkey defender. Turkish source, uh, sources via Sports Witness were saying a 45 million euro bid will be made by Manchester City, which won't be in this window. This will be in the summer. It's a very realistic transfer, this, by the way, in the summer. Leicester have had a 30 million euro bid rejected already. That was just a couple of days ago. And Borussia Dortmund have also had a bid rejected of 40 million, or 40 million euro. Sorry. Now Juventus have said they do not want to sell. 
and Manchester City, remember, must sell before we buy as Demiral is a non-homegrown player. This is a very realistic summer transfer and it is one that I will keep my eye out. Like if things are happening between now and the summer, I will keep you up to date every step of the way. So make sure you stay tuned for that. We've got something bubbling up nicely is what I will add. Now we're going to move on to the outs and this is a really interesting story with regards to my favourite transfer saga, Leroy Sane. The Leroy Sane update via Sky Sports. And via sources close to Bayern Munich saying no move will be made this, well, this January in this window. No move by Bayern will be made. This now allowed Leroy Sane to ease from his recovery and um, rehabilitation. Six to eight weeks. He's now training on his own at Manchester City. So it could even be on track for less than six weeks. But it's good news that Leroy Sane is now running and training and working by himself. That's really good news. So he could be like a new signing to Manchester City's squad when he does come back at some point in February. But, always a but, isn't there? But we are expecting sources close to Bayern and Sky Sports have said they are expecting Manchester City to sell Leroy Sane in the summer. Sancho's getting linked. I'd like Leroy Sane to stay at Manchester City. If he does not want to be here, though, then Leroy Sane, in my opinion, should be sold. If Leroy Sane wants to stay, I think City should be doing everything they can to try and keep him at City because I think he's a wonderful player. He's just brilliant. He's a really wonderful player. And so I'd like wonderful players to stay at Manchester City. He does need the right mindset. And if he's not in the right mindset, then obviously that's up to Leroy Sane. And if he wants his move to Bayern Munich, he can get his move to Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich will have to pay a lot of money for him, even if he's got one year left on his deal. Obviously, it's not going to be as high as £136 million pounds that was quoted last summer, but it will still be an extraordinary amount. Real Madrid got... Um, they got Aiden Hazard for like 80 plus million pounds with loads of add-ons that rose to like nearly 100 million pounds. I'm fairly sure it was a, a big transfer and he had one year left on his deal. And Leroy Sane is a young, upcoming player signing for a very good... So they're a world-class side by him, they're a very good side. And so, yeah, I, I feel like if City are going to be selling a, a really good player like Leroy Sane to Bayern Munich, he isn't going to come cheap. I can't put a price on how much I would value Leroy Sane at because I do not know. It all depends on how well he comes back from his injury. But if we get a good three or four months out of Leroy Sane and he's firing on all cylinders, I'd be demanding a lot of money. So uh, this is one of them, play it by ear, see what happens. But um, it's still a long time to go until the summer. But sources close to Bayern, no move in January. However, Manchester City players that are training in and around him and in and around Leroy Sane all the time aren't expecting him apparently to be at Manchester City as of the summer. How on earth sources can know this in, 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 in the press and on social media and stuff where I gather my information from um, is beyond me, so we'll wait and see. Now, we've got a contract news update with regards to Fernandinho. Now, apparently Fernandinho's agent is set to hold talks with Manchester City about a new contract in early February, which is really disappointing because I was hoping to get Fernandinho's future sorted this month so we can get that out of the way with and focus on other matters, but it is what it is. If that's going to happen, then that's going to happen. City want an extra 12 months on his contract, as we already know. The news is Fernandinho wants to sign that contract and wants to stay, so hopefully this won't be uh, too complicated to be able to get done. Now, this information's come from Fred Caldera, who that's how you say his name, is a Brazilian source that's based in Manchester. I'm not too sure if he's reliable or not, but uh, very interestingly, ESPN have also been reporting that there is a clause in Fernandinho's current contract which automatically entitles Fernandinho to a contract extension for an extra 12 months, and ESPN are reporting that these clauses are close to being met. I'm going to presume that these are based on appearances, that Fernandinho, if so long left on his contract, will be eased out like I'm expecting David Silver over the next few months to just be phased out that we won't be seeing all too much of David Silver and instead City will start looking ahead and start going with formations like we went at Old Trafford and start utilising Phil Foden and Bernardo Silva more in the middle so that could be happening uh, but with Fernandinho it doesn't look like that's holding up anytime soon and City wants to get that sorted and if there is a clause in his contract then it could trigger an automatic 12 month extension. Either way I'll be happy as long as we get an extra 12 months of Fernandinho because I think he's quality and he's exactly the type of mentality that we need at Manchester City. He's heads in the game. He knows what he wants. He wants to be successful uh, and he likes playing for Manchester City and he wants to be here. So let's keep him. He's still of good quality. He's got lots to offer the club. 
particularly in defensive midfield, is going to teach the young players. So I'd like to see an extra 12 months of Fernandinho. So there we go. That's been the video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, if you're enjoying the content, then make sure you press that red button, subscribe, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. We're over 5,500 subscribers. Thank you, everyone, for the continued support over the last few months and years. It is much appreciated by me. Don't forget also, you can find my social media links in the description below and popping up on screen. My email is also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries and just let me know in my email which you can find in the description. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you all again for the next video which will be tomorrow with the daily Manchester City transfer update. I apologise I didn't have a video out yesterday, I left a comment on the analysis of the United game, there was just simply no news for me to report on. We've got a little bit more today, hoping for some good stories tomorrow. So I'll see you all again then. So it's been JSGC. Hope we'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>